Good morning, church. Hallelujah. Let us quiet our heart before God this morning and see his face. Because his word said, if we humble ourselves before him and see his face, he will hear us and he will heal our land. Search us this morning, O oh God. See if there is anything within us that is not of you. We ask you to cleanse us from all our sins and set us free for the throne of grace. Because you said in your word, if sin is in our land, and you will not hear from us. So this morning we thank you, great God, for such a wonderful privilege that you have given unto us through your Son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. As the songwriter said, what a friend we have in Jesus. Hallelujah. All our sins and grief he born. And what a privilege we have this morning to carry our problem to him in prayer. Oh God, we thank you for your son Jesus Christ who you have sent into this world to redeem the world from sin. What a wonderful gift that you have given unto us. When all were in sin, heading for destruction, O oh God, you see it fit in your wisdom, hallelujah, in your grace, in your mercy, in your love, hallelujah, to have pity upon your children and to send forth your son to take our place, hallelujah, and Calvary for us. We give you thanks this morning, great God. We give you praise. We honor you. We glorify your name. And we praise you for who you are. Hallelujah to the most high God. This morning, Lord, as we take our position before you, O oh God, this children's Sunday, and we all are your children. But this morning, O oh God, we put before you the young at heart. Because they are the men and the women for tomorrow. They are the ones who will carry on the banner. O oh God, and we know that the enemy do not like that. Because he has the world to show them so many different things. But God. Oh God, we look to you this morning because you said that you, hallelujah, will take care of your people. So we put your children before you this morning and we ask that you will cover them, Lord, under your blood. Hallelujah. Keep them from the hands of the enemy. Oh God, who come to steal, to destroy, and to kill. But Jesus, you said in your word, hallelujah, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. So we know that we are more than conqerors when we come to you, hallelujah, because you said if we come to you, and whatever we ask of you, as we ask of come to your will, it will be done. So we are standing on your promises this morning that you are enough to take care of your children. You are enough to see them true, Lord. But we pray this morning that you will lift up our faith, O oh God, to trust you, O oh God, and to allow you to lead us and to direct us, O oh God, as we go from day to day. Because what can we do without you? We are nothing without you. This morning we ask that you will hear us as we cry unto you this morning. 
Because we are all your children, oh God. And in a time like this, oh God, <laughs> with perilous times, uh, those who eyes are open unto the truth, uh, hallelujah, they can see, Lord Jesus, uh, that we are in end time, uh, hallelujah. But those who still are walking in the darkness, mighty God, uh, they will not be able to see, oh God. But Lord, we pray this morning, not in a special way, that you will open your eyes, uh, mighty God, uh, to see, Lord, before it's too late. Uh, hallelujah, because you wish that none should perish. Oh, my God. Uh, but all, who oh God, you would love to come to you. This morning, we pray, especially for the unsaved. Uh, my God. Uh, we know, Lord Jesus, that the rhythm and the rhythm and the all kind of thing that is taking place out there. They don't even remember, oh God, to even bless their meal when they, you give to them. Mighty God, we pray that you will open their eyes to see you. Mighty God, before it's too late, that they will come to you, Lord. Give their heart to you before it's too late. Heavenly Father, we pray this morning for your people. We who, oh God, you have called to lead the way. Mighty God, you said the harvest is plentiful. Oh my God, but the laborer of you. But we must pray, and we are praying this morning, oh, that you will send forth the laborer, oh God. Mighty God, because we know that the time, your time is at hand. Mighty God, and we need to reach out to those, hallelujah, who do not yet know you as Lord and Savior. Because it's all about you, Christ Jesus, uh, because you send us, mighty God, uh, that we must go into this world. Uh, hallelujah, we must preach uh, your word and what you said, Lord, your kingdom. Oh God, we must preach that is to come. Our Lord, we enlighten your people and raise up a standard, oh God, in your church. Uh, in the heart of your people, that Lord, we will go where you send us. We will do whatever, oh God, you ask us to do, Lord, because we know, Lord Jesus, that you have promised us that in the end, mighty God, we will reap, hallelujah, that reward, hallelujah, that we are looking forward to, mighty God, and we know that it soon be done. When this Son of Man, mighty God, shall appear. Hallelujah to give us, mighty God, our reward according unto our work. Mighty God, remind us, Lord Jesus, that wah, mm, mm, it seems rough and it seems hard to climb. But remind us, Lord, that you said you are with us. Mm, and you will never leave us, nor forsake us. Mighty God, uh, in times like these, uh, trial times, uh, oh God, we pray that you will increase our faith in you to stand firm. Uh, because Lord, uh, help us not to yield unto man, uh, but to yield unto you, Lord Jesus. Because many are giving up. Oh my God. Many are looking different areas to survive. But remind your people, oh God, that you is the way, you is the truth, and you is the life. We cannot find true life in anyone else but you. You are the one who gives life unto your people. And we trust you, and we must trust you that if you give us life, you are more than able, O oh God, to see us through this journey. My God, this morning we just want to glorify and honor you and praise your name. We pray for those who are shocking. My God, remember the campus. Remember. Oh God, this sister chambers, remember Sister Chen. Remember Sister Fletcher. Remember Sister McDonald. Remember the right family. Mighty God. 
once they were with you and we know that the enemy will do anything to distract them Lord to say that you don't remember them anymore but Jesus we know that he's alive and is alive from the pit of hell we pray that you will continue oh God to touch their mind their heart and their spirit and their soul Oh, remind them that, Lord, you promise that you will never leave them. Now we will never forsake them. Oh, God, uh, we know that sometimes uh, when the trials of life come, oh, God, they believe and want to live in. Mighty God, but we pray for strength. And we pray that you will cover them under your blood. And you will keep them, oh, God, from the hand of the enemy. We pray for our leaders, mighty God. Oh God, they are looking in other direction. The whole world is upside down. Searching, my God, and cannot find. Because Lord, if they don't look to you, they will not find. Hallelujah. Because you are the way and the truth and the life. You declare it, my God. And if anyone, who, oh God, who do not <laughs> obey your word and look to you, then Lord, he said, where can we go? What can we do without you? Peter asks the question, who will we turn to? And where will we go? Because you are the way and the truth and the life. This morning, great God, we place your people before you. We know that we are in perilous times. Some Lord in the workplace, they are confused because the enemy is at large. Mighty God, no peace within. Mighty God, the backbiting. Mighty God, the news carry. Mighty God, for provision of this world that meant nothing to you. Mighty God, we pray that you will, oh God, uncompense. You will not touch the mind. You will touch the heart of these people. Remind them that, Lord, you said it. In your word, if we even achieve this whole world <clears throat> and lose our oh, one soul, what would it profit the man? Remind them of your word that, Lord, they will have some compassion, they will have some love. Oh God, they will have, mighty God, some mercies. They will stop pulling down your people. They will stop push your people in corner because of the truth. Oh Jesus, you said it. That Lord, some of us will lose our very life for the truth. Oh God, because they will persecute us just as they persecute you. Oh God, they will deceive us just as they will deceive you. So God Almighty, this morning we are reminding those who know you as Lord and Savior to lift their faith in you. Oh God, the church of the living God will stand on your promises. Because you promise us, Jesus, that at this rock you shall build your church. And the gates of hell, hallelujah, shall not prevail against it. So every plan of the enemy this morning, we bind. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we reverse them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we curse them. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus Christ uh, of Nazareth. Your church must be victorious. Uh, hallelujah. Your church uh, must triumphant uh, because you are God uh, and there is none about you and there is none uh, that can go about you. Hallelujah. So we bless your name uh, this morning uh, and we are standing up and your promises of our church uh, because, hallelujah, because uh, we know that is you, hallelujah, that's all the future, and you are the future. Those who depress this morning, looking uh, all around, Oh God, feeling that there, there is no help, but remind them this morning, hallelujah, that they are hoping to Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. You are able to see us through, for you tell us, Lord, that we will be with us until the end. And you say it's those uh, that endure unto the end shall be saved. So when the enemy come upon us uh, with his plan, uh, hallelujah, remind us, Lord, that you have bigger plans uh, for us, Lord. If we trust you and stay fast in you and hold on to you, who are the solid rock, hallelujah, oh, stand forever. We thank you this morning that we can come to you boldly to the throne of grace. For you have laid that curtain apart. Hallelujah. And give us access to the throne of grace. Help us to stay on our knees. Hallelujah. Remind us that that we must stay on our knees, looking to you, who are the author and the finisher of our soul. Bless us this morning. We pray for our pastor, O oh God. Hey, wherever they is this morning, cover them under your blood. Hallelujah. Cover them, Jesus and help them to continue to see more and more of you. Because, oh God, the higher we get in you is the more the enemy, hallelujah, knock at our door. <laughs> but we know, <laughs> we know who we serve. <laughs> we know who we believe in. We know we put our trust in her. We will not bow unto man. Oh God, we will not bow to the enemy's plan. Hallelujah. But we will stand as the Hebrew words. Hallelujah. If Lord is even not your will to take us out of the fire, my God. Hey, we will still stand under your promises. We will still trust you. Hallelujah. Because uh, we know that at the latter end of it, my God, our soul will in peace with you. We thank you this morning and we praise you for those who are, oh God, waving their feet. We pray that you will touch them one more time and remind them that, oh God, you are the God of all. You stand above all. Hallelujah. All things belong to you. And you created all things 
for no other reason than for your glory and for your praise. We thank you this morning for hearing us. We thank you for caring for your people. We thank you for sharing with your people. And we thank you most of all, Lord, for answering your people prayer. Thank you this morning. Praise you. Adore you. And lift you up. We pray, O oh God, for the one who will bring the word. Cover he or she this morning. Let it is from your heart to his or her heart. Oh God, because it's only you who can lead and direct, oh God, in the right way and part. So help that one who will bring your word that is sharper than a pretty soul. That some life will be touched this morning. Oh God. Some weak body this morning will find strength. Sickness will flee. Mighty God. Mighty God. <clears throat> yeah. If your word, oh God, stays the very marrow in the bone. This morning we are asking for some marital place, oh God, in bones, in dry bones that don't know you yet as Lord and Savior. Let your word, oh God, go forward with power and authority. Take charge of the rest of the service, for you are God. And God alone. We give you thanks to them through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let the people of God say, Amen. Amen. Amen.